this uh, video is showing you a few tips and tricks about buoyancy control for you as a beginner and how you will be able to more easily handle the situation underwater. Looking at buoyancy in itself, it is actually the um, status of managing lifting and also managing the kind of gravity that you have in the water. When you come down in the water the first time, um, you need to empty your wing of, of gas so that you can breathe out and then you will sink underwater. But if you don't do anything else, once you started sinking a few meters, you will end sinking faster and end up hitting the bottom. And we will start the diving on the beginner level in a very, very shallow one and two meter step. However, what we want to do is that we work with uh, some tools for us to achieve what we call the neutral buoyancy. That we can be like, an, if you imagine you being an astronaut, there's not many people that can be an astronaut, but we can be astronauts underwater, so that we can be weightless underwater. To be that, we need some tools. One of the tools that we have is the, the wing, so that we can add a little bit of gas into the wing, and that will help us being neutral buoyant in the water. And the lungs, they are actually a very important tool for providing your buoyancy underwater. And they're all included in the package. You don't pay an extra for the, for the lungs. They're included, so please use the lungs as a buoyancy control tool underwater. That means that if you are inhaling, you're getting more gas in your uh, lungs and you will ascend in the water column, whereas if you are exhaling, you will get more stabilized in the water column. And uh, also in um, some uh, water climates we will use a dry suit. Uh, we need a little bit of comfortable gas in a dry suit, but we don't use a dry suit as a primary tool for, for our buoyancy control. Uh, so the tips and tricks for um, you when you come in the water the first time is actually for you Take it very easy and also make yourself as big as possible. You make yourself as big as possible in the water so it's easier for you to get balanced in the water. And then since we start very shallow, you've got the option of kind of getting a little bit of stability help with the help of, of, uh, of a rock, for example, while we are working slowly, step by step, of trying to add a little bit of gas into your wing to see that you can achieve neutral buoyancy. If you're floating up, you actually have to ventilate a little bit of gas out from your wing, either from your inflator or you use your little uh, dump valve that we will show in the, in the next part. We start off just, just finding a little bit of how things work on, in the shallow. The tips here is also to take it very, very slowly. As every diver does underwater, you need to take it very slowly. And you need to do small adjustments, not any big adjustments. And please remember, your breathing is your primary tool also. So control your breathing will control your buoyancy also. And giving yourself a more relaxed um, setting in the water. While we progress with buoyancy uh, practice and buoyancy uh, proficiency for you, then it's much easier when you have the proficiency of staying in the water column of where you want to be. It's much easier later on to start working with, uh, for example, clearing your mask and doing other, other team exercises underwater once you've got the platform in place. And also, it's much easier and much more efficient for you if you have a neutral buoyancy to achieve a good swimming technique underwater. You could imagine yourself not having control and you are too heavy underwater. It's very hard for you to get an efficient swimming technique. So just a short uh, sum up for the buoyancy tips and tricks is that Use the buoyancy, the, the wing for your primary tool, but don't please forget your lungs. Control your breathing, that's the key. And make small adjustments and then also uh, don't get too, 
too worried about not getting your buoyancy correct on the first time underwater. This will take time, but it's well worth time spent for your effort later on when you're doing skills and things underwater neutrally buoyant it's much easier and that is the way we want you as a diver to develop.